same rights as any human being, uh, but you're now a protected class, free from discrimination at work, church, and school, especially those ivory tower universities that until now barred them from enrollment. But the puppet struggle is far from over. This is their story. God bless America, and may God save FPU. Hi, I'm Palmer. Uh, I like your hair, so brown. Have a seat, people. Your summer of drinking, fornication, and prayers for forgiveness has come to yet another duplicitous end. Some things have changed since last semester. Would anybody care to take a guess what that might be? I know! Me! Me! Yes, the puppet, who clearly doesn't know a rhetorical question when she hears one. Oh, um, well, what was the question? In retrospect, it should come as no great surprise that the love child of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton would result in this fabricated abomination. All in the futile attempt at diversity. <sighs> Now that we're on this slippery slope, I wouldn't be surprised if they let sheep in here next. You realize you're making this harder for all of us. Dean Nippelmeyer can require me to perform this abortion on education, but not in person. The next time you see me will be via Skype. Hey, Palmer, do you think this class is going to be hard? That's not the point, Tampa. We're finally inside FPU. That's what matters. Eighth grade called, Palmer. They want their notes back. <laughs> well, what can you expect when your head's full of nothing but stuffing? For the record, Woody, we're plush. Plush, huh? That won't be a problem in the old sackaroo. <laughs> when you get tired of limp dick over here. Let me show you all the benefits that come with being odd core. Uh, no thanks. And me and Palmer aren't even dating even. Besides, Tampa would never risk getting splinters from a creep like you. Splinters? Ha <laughs> Never heard that before. Fun head. Why is every dummy I've ever met a complete a-hole? I still have to get my textbooks. Uh, wanna wait in line with me or something? Can't. Gotta help my roommate set up our room. His girlfriend's trying to set up a double date and I gotta do my part. Oh, okay, no problem. So, whatever, right? I'll see you around then, okay? You know you will. I don't care what happens to me at FPU. I'm not going anywhere. So, is your girlfriend coming over? I sincerely doubt that, P-Man. Lori's mad at me, again. Oh, that's too bad. The simple fact is, I don't get women. I mean, she lets me put my tongue in her mouth, but then flips the second I use her toothbrush. But Lori said she talked to her friends about going out with me. Trust me, P-Man, you are better off shoving this into your skull and getting it over with. I feel like crap. So when I call your name, quietly, and I mean quietly. Raise your hand. Woody Bonner. Here in Queen. Which part of quietly did you not understand, Mr. Bonner? Well, the. Shush, 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 shush. One more sound, and you're gone. Got it? Becky Hartley. Tampa Kushner. Me, 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 that's me! Why are the puppets in this classroom unable to follow simple directions? Um, well, I don't know. Maybe because we're new here? Wait, don't I know you? No, this is my first day. You're one of the dancers that felt up, aren't you? What? Uh, hey. Never. Um, no, not anymore. You're the one with all the moles, right? That's not true. I've never worked with animals. 
Run, Bert! What do you say we put our heads on the table and chill out for the rest of class? Just be warned, my ex-wife says I snore. Please call her. She can't stay mad forever. Now it's too soon. And if you want a girlfriend, you'll have to do it yourself. People don't just walk up to you and hit on you. It doesn't work that way. So cute. Is that a new haircut, Shane? It's so cute on you. Where did you get those boots, Kelly? Cute doesn't even begin to describe it. Stuart Babcock, I'm so mad at you. Why haven't you introduced me to your friend? He's so cute. I just want to put him in my pocket and play with him later. <laughs> uh, Barbie, this is my roommate, Palmer. You are the cutest thing I've seen since Mary-Kate and Ashley got out of rehab. Again, promise you'll call me later, okay? Sure. Maybe I'll drop by your room sometime. <sighs> That's so cute! How about tonight? Come alone if you dare. That was so easy. I don't know what I was worried about. What? Maybe you didn't notice, but that girl is completely nuts. Why? Because she's attracted to a lowly puppet? Why can't you just be happy for me? Whatever, dude. But that girl is a lot more trouble than she's worth. I swear I didn't know she was 13. I want you to know, I don't dance anymore. You woke me for that? That's why I'm here, at FPU I mean. To leave it all behind me. Oh, I understand. I've had to reinvent myself plenty of times. And relocate. If it wasn't for the Federal Witness Protection Program, um, but that's restricted information. If you are serious about your academic career, I could arrange for a little extra credit. <gasps> you know, give that old GPA a nudge. Extra credit? Are you serious? I love extra credit! <laughs> extra credit! You're not the only one. Yay! 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 Wish me luck. Tonight could be the night I finally go all the way. Palmer, only virgins say stuff like go all the way. Well, after tonight I won't have to. I'll earn the right to say stuff like bumpin' uglies and poking my felt pickle in the pumpkin patch. You do that. Don't be like this, Stu. I still need some advice. I can't ask my mom, and my dad died before I ever got to know him. Okay. What do you want to know? W well, what do I do so it doesn't, you know, it's not terrible? Long division. Long division? That's right. Long division. Do whatever it takes to last as long as humanly possible. I, I'm sorry, I still don't get it. Most guys spend their time thinking about sex. The last time they had sex, the next time that they might have sex, and when all else fails, watching someone else have sex. But when you're actually doing it, you've got to think about something else entirely. Like, um, like obscure baseball statistics, or the last time that you changed the oil in your car. Even the smell of your grandmother's house. Anything at all to give you as much time as possible in the pocket. Uh, wow. Okay, I get it. Really? I know it sounds messed up, Palm, but I don't make the rules. I had no idea you could fit so much stuff into one room. Would you like a drink before I mount you? Excuse me? It's straight gin. I'm afraid I'm all out of mixer. That's just empty calories, right? <laughs> Whoa! Now I know what formaldehyde tastes like. <laughs> You're funny. And cute. I like that. Yeah, uh, I noticed. I wish I never had to leave here. <gasps> Wanna see my puss puss? Should I close my eyes first? That's silly, and you won't get to meet Mr. Mittens! What's a Mr. Mittens? Hi, kitty! I just read the cutest thing ever! But the dorms don't allow pets. <gasps> what the hell is that? Mr. Mittens, isn't he cute? I just couldn't let him get old and ugly, so I mounted him. It's sort of a hobby. I forgot I have a psych test tomorrow. I gotta get home and don't cram. Be silly. You're so cute. I just wanna keep you here forever. <laughs>
Exactly what kind of extra credit are we talking about, Mr. Rogers? Please, call me Dr. Rogers. You're a doctor? No, I just want to sound like a sexy gynecologist. My academic research focuses on pornography. Puppet porn, to be exact. Critical studies, the disturbing impact on society. Oh, and aesthetics. Are you familiar with the bareback gonzo genre? Hmm? You don't want this, Barbie. I'm a mess of imperfection. Don't worry. I can fix anything. But I've grown attached to my fatal flaws. Just relax. I don't want you to get all wrinkly. Ah. Freeze, psycho sister. One more step and the puppet gets it. Careful. Those are very sharp. Back off. Or puppet boy won't be so damn cute anymore. Just don't do anything crazy. Crazy? You're one trip away from the mirror from seeing crazy. Now get out of my way. You know what? I don't think you've got it in you. I'm calling your bluff. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Ugh. I hate my life. just thinking the same thing about women. You want to tell me what happened? Mr. Rogers wanted me to make a porno for extra credit. Ew. Really? Ew. He knew about my dancing and just assumed, you know? But that's ancient history. <laughs> I'm only five months and 13 days away from achieving my second virginity. Second virginity? That's possible? That's what's so great about America. You can believe anything you want. So, what happened to Mr. Rogers? Tell me what to say, tell me what to do. Tell me what it takes, baby, get on top of you. We can go from side to side, we can go around the back. Tell me, tell me, baby, baby, I'm your only man. I said, stop, break. Tell me what you did, tell me what you said. Tell me what it takes, baby, to get you out my head. You can go around the bend, you can sneak up from the roof. Tell me, tell me, baby, baby, what you want to hear. Is every word? You can kick me all around, you can hang me by the string. Tell me, baby, because I want to do that dirty thing. You can take me for a ride, take me to the wooden chair. Tell me what it takes me to be to get you out my head. Hold up. Bang. <laughs>